Hi, welcome back to my channel Honest List and today we're going to deep dive into a very important topic that usually goes unnoticed but can leave a big impact on our mental well-being. But before we begin, I want to make it clear that I am not a medical practitioner. I am not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. I had a minor in psychology in college, but if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, I suggest that you treat professional help. I am a hair blogger. I go by Honest Liz. My name is Elizabeth. I share my experiences and insights. Now, <laughs> let's dive into this topic and continue to support each other in our journey. First off, what is love bombing? It is a psychological tactic used by manipulators to give you uh, extravagant gifts, shower you with lots of attention and affection to create an immediate bond. Now from the outside, it might look like an outpouring of love, but it, it's actually a tactic to gain control. What makes this love bombing so confusing is that at first it feels so positive and it makes you feel so good, but that's likely because of all the endorphins and the dopamine. These are all the feel good hormones that happen in your body because of all the attention and affection and the crazy gifts that you're getting. But once that initial rush of attention wears off, that same relationship turns abusive. And that's why it's important to recognize the signs of love bombing. Love bombers usually have a predictable pattern. Uh, once the attention wears off, that can leave you very confused and you, you'll start questioning yourself. In fact, it'll the love bomber withdraws the attention and it can drive you to do insane things to get that attention back. The feeling can be so addictive, causing you to lose your sense of reason. Love bombing can be a serious threat to young people coming especially from broken families. Sexual predators are always on the prowl to like lure you into this game. It's not about appearance. It is about the affection and, and attention they give you. But once they establish that control over you, then they start demanding financial and mental resources from you. Be aware that once you no longer can provide any of these resources, they leave you. I want to share some real life stories with you, including some from my past and one from recent years. This is just to show you how the emotional manipulation unfolds and how it can impact your well-being. <sighs> At just 15 years old, I gave away my gold earrings to a man who like spun tales of having police trouble at the time and he was a love bomber by the way. And when he discovered that I did not have any more money to give him, he proceeded to repeatedly R-word me for months. The love bombing that started with expensive gifts, uh, constant attention, picking up and dropping me home, um, calling me wifey, uh, the late night phone calls, it turned into tragedy. There was also one time where I was physically assaulted on the public road with all his friends watching. Thank God for my friends who just swiftly came in and took me away from that scene. Thanks, thanks, thank you, thank you for saving me at that time. Now that I'm 37 years old, I want to share awareness of how this affects teenagers and mothers who can go through love bombing. So stay away. <laughs> so stay alert and self-aware so you can you can see when this is happening and you can save yourself. Now one of the recent uh, stories is that I, when I was 27 years old, um, I knew to Instagram I had like less than 800 followers at the time. I found myself drawn to a genuine relationship 
with the curly hair brand. Little did I know that this would turn into a valuable lesson about staying true to myself and also to my followers. Being from India, I recognize the lack of representation of Indian curly hair bloggers in the international community. And I was so eager to bridge that gap that I was constantly buying really expensive international hair products to review them and to make content and to tell my community about these things. It was during this time that um, one upcoming curly hair brand slid into my DMs bringing with it a promise of friendship and support. This brand became more than a business collaboration. I was showered with reposts, um, daily affirmations. They even sent like really thoughtful care packages for my children. The, the trust grew, leading me to genuinely believe in the brand and in the products they were making. Little did I know that it was all part of a marketing strategy to promote this brand in the Indian market. As I continued to create unpaid posts to promote this brand in the Indian market, I only realized later that this relationship was one-sided. Once they were established in the Indian market, they just cut me off. And many other things that happened on social media because of this scene that made me realize that I should question the authenticity and ethics of this brand and my role in promoting this brand. This experience was initially very disheartening. It took me years to get over it, but it taught me a very valuable lesson. It became a turning point and I focused to genuinely connect with my audience and only suggest products that I genuinely, truly believed in. And I discovered better products in the market. I want each of you to feel confident and genuinely educated about making the right choices for your hair. Love bombing can have serious consequence on your mental health. It can cause you to be dependent. It can erode your self-esteem, causing you to make it difficult to escape toxic relationships. Understanding the psychological impact can help you get out of the cycle. Now let's talk about how we can protect ourselves. Establishing boundaries, going slow in relationships, and trusting your instinct is key. Surround yourself with support system and educate yourself about healthy relationship dynamics. I mean, if all your friends, your family, and your siblings hate that person, don't feel good vibes about somebody, everybody in your life, then that's a red flag. It was during this period that I was recently baptized and I came to Christ. And it was only after that that I came to a realization that I was looking for love and attention in all the wrong places. Trusting easily was not always wise, but my faith has now taught me to be more discerning. If you or someone you know is experiencing a struggle like this, emotional abuse or love bombing, make sure to reach out and seek help. It's very important to talk to your friends, your family, professional help or your church so they can support you in, in this and give you guidance. Remember, you are not alone in this and there is help available. As we wrap up today's video, my goal was to spread awareness about love bombing and how you can be alert when you see these signs and respond to these manipulative tactics. Together, we can foster healthier relationships and protect our well-being, mental well-being. Thank you for joining me and let's continue this conversation in the comments below. Remember to like this video, share it with someone you know who needs to see this and subscribe for more personal stories. I'll see you in the next video and until then, take care of yourself.